When it comes to modifications, there are three types of people in my opinion. The first is they only do it for looks. They have splitters, canards, flashy wraps, spoilers and a lot of other things on the car to make it look really nice. The second type is the sleeper class where they only do modifications and tuning under the hood to have more power, better handling and stuff like that. And there is a third class as well. And this is the third type of class. It is basically a combination of both of the previous classes that I mentioned about. Insane looks on the outside as well as insane modifications under the hood. Let's check it out. Let's talk about the looks first and especially the front end because that's where the car is the busiest. You can see it has GTI style front headlamps with this red pinstripe running across the front end of the car. Of course you can notice the rally inspired wrap that it has and I'll talk a little bit more about it later. It has the 17 inch GTR Pro rims and behind them you have a big brake kit from an Audi S1. 312 mm rotors and GTI style pads behind them. Is the side profile of this car and as you can see it has a complete WRC Polo R type uh, wrap on top of it and a lot of people forget and take this Polo model for granted because it's a daily driver for a lot of people and it's a pretty normal looking car but this is one of the most successful WRC cars in history and basically this wrap pays an homage to that thing so pretty cool wrap, it has the Red Bull stickering, WRC stickering and the Volkswagen stickering. Graphics are really nice, I really like them. And you have this small e-tuners badge down over here. Again, I'll talk about this more later on. The back end is pretty much standard, apart from the gigantic Borla end can. And of course the theme of the wrap continues at the back. Once you open up the hood, the madness still continues, but it is very difficult to see the madness because the engine bay looks pretty much stock apart from this gigantic k air intake over here. The coolest feature that I've seen in this car up and until now and it's one of the first things I've seen in a GT TSI modification list is a hybrid turbocharger. So this turbo over here, even though the shell looks pretty much stock because it is, the turbine inside is actually bigger than the stock one. So you can put much more amount of boost through it. The car is running an e-tuner stage 3 performance tune and producing around 170 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. Uh, that is also with the help of an IES downpipe stainless steel uh, which is over here and a complete exhaust system from Borla. Mm. Once you start driving this car, you can immediately feel the power gains. 170 horsepower in such a small car, that's quite impressive. I mean, yeah, technically the GTI has 190 and they can go up quite a lot but considering that this is a 1.2 TSI and the fact that the 1.2 TSI is not really that tuner friendly I know a lot of people in India have gotten some great numbers out of it but in complete honesty the 1.2 TSI is actually an eco box engine in Europe and other countries that it's sold in it's not really a performance engine so the fact that e-tuners India has gotten out 170 horsepower out of this pretty Pretty bloody impressive. Oh, and the exhaust is really nice. It does not have a pops and bangs tune, so whatever pops and bangs that you can hear, they're completely natural, which is really nice to listen to. It's not irritating in any sort of way. The handling also has been improved by a small margin, I would say. It's not running coilovers or a complete suspension redo like most people do it but I mean technically I would not do it as well because it makes the ride way too stiff and I mean it's just a pain in the ass sometimes. It has Cobra springs added to it to give it that nice low stance. Yeah it has gotten a little bit stiffer and yeah probably some speed breakers are a pain to go over but 
the looks also matter sometimes probably the next logical modification for this car would be a set of coilovers for me but that's totally up to the owner and everyone has their own sort of build so i'm not going to say anything i really really love this build going stage 3 is quite a big commitment and shows your true passion for a vehicle it means you have spent an unholy sum of money on the car along with your patience that's what makes this car special and why this build makes so much sense there are a lot of polo owners in the market today and a lot of them are doing the same things over and over again the hybrid turbocharger is truly a unique mod and it's the first time i've heard something of that sort in a polo thank you so much for watching this video hope you liked it like share and subscribe comment down below what you think about this stage 3 polo that we just did a video on and i'll see you in the next one